Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is very easy but task number 3 might be difficult for you if you haven't paid the attention on that task. So first of all just log in with your credentials and in the search bar just simply search for the bucket, open this thing new tab, now just simply come on the task number 1 and if you want you can just use this lab instructions uh, name like bucket name just copy that and just go back to your bucket option and just simply click on create. Okay, now just paste the bucket name over here like this click on continue continue and continue now for here just uncheck this checkbox and choose the fine grains and simply click on continue and create so we are done with the this point okay now for here what we have to do just copy this username carefully and here just simply search for the IAM okay search for the IAM and open this thing in new tab again wait for a couple of seconds it will take time And now click on this grant access and paste the username which you copy from the lab instruction this one now just copy this role okay copy that click on this select role and paste the name okay just choose the role wisely and click on save once you click on save and if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you didn't get the score as you can see i got this kind of error so no need to worry about that lab take couple of seconds to update the score if you want you can just keep hitting on check my progress or you can just move ahead the task number two so here what we have to do we have to just create a pub sub topic so just copy this name carefully search for the pub sub and just open the pub sub and click on this create topic paste the topic id which you copy from the lab instructions and just simply click on create now this is going to take couple of seconds meanwhile we will just move forward with the task number three and here please pay attention because this is very important task and so first of all just copy this name carefully for the function name or cloud function name you can say copy that name here just simply search for the cloud function open this thing in new tab wait for a second and click on this cloud create function and here please pay attention guys first of all what you have to do we have to just change the function name so just change the function name like this okay now here please pay attention for the region if you just simply scroll up okay and here you can see challenge scenario and if you just simply scroll down you can see create all resources in for me they have given the region called us east one for you the region might be different so just choose the region wisely if it us west one so you have to choose the region over here uh, us west one for me is us east one so i'm going to choose that region okay so just choose that region accordingly now here for the trigger click over here and choose the cloud storage okay now scroll down click on this event type and from here choose the third option called finalizing and creating the third option okay now click on the browse wait for a second choose your bucket and just simply click on select okay now just simply click on save now just wait and click on this down arrow scroll down and for the maximum number of instance just type 5 and done okay make sure your configuration must look like this again you have to change the reason as given in the lab instructions all these things and just simply click on next okay so you are done with that task now here please pay attention for the run time you have to choose the node.js version 14 make sure you have to change the runtime version to 14 okay for the entry point if you just simply come on the task number 3 you can see the thumbnail so just copy this make the changes over here okay so we have done two changes now we have to change the index.js file so just simply scroll down copy this file or content and make the changes over here like this okay now what you have to do we have to just change the pro topic id okay from the line number 15 so just copy this topic id carefully and let me just zoom in for you you can see from the line number 15 topic name so just replace this thing carefully like this remove that and paste your topic id which you copy from the lab instruction page so we are done with this thing now just simply click on this package.json okay now here just scroll down copy this and make the changes over here like this okay so we have done with all the possible changes runtime change entry time and just simply click on deploy 
I said please pay attention if you haven't make this kind of changes you won't get a score on the task number three okay now this is going to take a couple of minutes meanwhile we can just move forward with the task number four so what we have to do we have to just create one alert policy for that just simply search for the monitoring open this thing in new tab like this and click on this alerting option okay now click on this create policy and just simply click on create a select mod, uh, matrix and just disable this option now here please pay attention click on this cloud function then function and then active instance okay just cross verify your path cloud function function and active instance and click on apply so all the things are done now just simply click on next here for the threshold value just type 1 and just simply click on next disable this notification option and for the name of your policy copy this name carefully okay copy that paste over here and just simply click on next and click on create policy just wait for a couple of seconds and your alerting policy has been created now if you just simply click on check my progress for task number four you will get a score without any issue if you just check the score for task number one you will get a score without any issue and same for the task number two as well okay now we have to just wait for this task to be completed so if you just go back to your cloud function and wait for a couple of seconds so this thing will be done meanwhile what you can do okay you can see we got a score for the task number two also now just simply come on the task number three and here you can see this path just copy this thing carefully do not copy that semicolon okay just copy this okay now go back to your incognito window paste over here and just wait and you can see this kind of page now just right click over here and just save this file please make sure that you have to you don't have to change the name anything just simply save the format of the page must like this travel.jpg okay once you're done with this now just wait for your cloud function to be created so it's done now what you have to do now just go back to your bucket and upload that file which you downloaded so just go back to downloads and upload the travel.jpg wait for a second and it's done now if i just simply come over here and click on the check my progress i will get a score without any issue okay no need to worry about that if you didn't get a score lab take couple of minutes to update a score okay so just wait and as you can see we got a score if you haven't get a score on your first attempt so just wait for a couple of minutes like one to two minutes and again click on check my progress but if it's taking more than five to ten minutes that means you have made the mistake over here so that time what you have to do just make the possible changes as i show in the lab instruction and this video and just make the changes over here then delete your bucket and re-upload it not not delete your file and re-upload it that's the way you will get a score on the task number three or else you can just restart your lab and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day